Utter disbelief and anger echoed from coast to coast in every local neighborhood, evidenced by the flood of comments on WCPO.com and our Facebook page. As Nine News reporter Jessica Knoll reports, one of the looming questions is whether life imitates TV crime drama. We've all seen them, crime, cop, and court shows on TV. The good guy gets the bad guy, and the detectives and attorneys seem to wrap up the case by the end of the hour. But if the real-life courtroom doesn't play out like a TV show, can that affect the outcome of a trial? Attorney Mark Crumbine says yes, and that could have made a difference in the Casey Anthony trial. That jury came back with a not guilty verdict for the murder of Casey's two-year-old daughter, Kaylee Anthony. You don't know whether they're being influenced. Are they watching, you know, cops where they're, you know, get a favorable shot of police officers? Are they watching uh, shows where police officers are discredited or there shows about defense attorneys? Uh, you just don't know, and that, that's a, more of a wild card than ever now. A local potential juror at the Hamilton County Courthouse watches crime shows, but says in this trial, there was no smoking gun to convict. They figure it out like in the last 20 minutes of a TV show, and, you know, they can, they have the smoking gun, basically, but they didn't have that here. In the end, Crumbine says there wasn't enough scientific evidence presented to convict her. They probably would have been better off forgetting about the weak science that they had and just going with, with the old-fashioned type of evidence that might have helped them more. Casey Anthony was convicted of four misdemeanor counts of lying to investigators and will be sentenced Thursday. Jessica Knoll, 9 News.